Hello, this is Dr. Trava. I hope the slideshow will be informative. With any acute trauma, remember, keep the patient calm, and most of all, you should keep calm. Some important facts. Chipped teeth account for the majority of dental injuries. Treatment can vary depending on the type, location, and severity of the injury. Many times, the neighboring tooth may be injured secondarily and go undetected. Traumatized teeth need to be followed on a monthly basis. Traumatized teeth can become an issue years later, well after the accident. A detailed report needs to be done after any trauma for the future. Insurance reports have to be written with precise detail. People don't realize that trauma unnoticed from an auto accident, fall, or fight can be problematic years later and be expensive. Accident reports not written correctly can be costly in the long run. Do it right the first time. Other types of trauma. A tooth may need root canal months later, even if it does not seem obvious at the time of injury. Initial documentation and report are essential and cost savings. Most chipped or fractured teeth can be repaired by reattaching the broken piece or by placing a tooth colored filling. These injuries require special attention by a specialist in our office. Don't rush to think you need the nerve out. Depending on the age of the tooth, we prefer to keep the nerve in the tooth so the root can keep growing. Never put Ambisol or aspirin on a tooth. Dislodged teeth. During an injury, sports, auto, domestic violence, a tooth can be pushed out of the socket. It may be noticeable or not. Typically, it is from a blunt trauma, like an elbow. Seek the attention of one of our specialists. This type of trauma can be handled in many possible ways. In children, many times a root canal may not be needed. New research indicates that stem cells present in the pulps of young people can be used to stimulate pulp growth. Never jump in to get a root canal. Chip teeth on young patients. When a tooth erupts into the mouth, the root continues to grow in length for two to three years after. The root still grows in diameter into our adult years. Preserving the nerve and not doing the root canal help maintains a strong tooth for years to come. Our practice has the skill and experience to handle this once in a lifetime event. If not handled correctly, it can be very costly for years to come. Knocked out teeth or avulsed teeth. If a tooth is completely knocked out of your mouth, time is of the essence. Handle the tooth by the crown, rinse off with water or milk. If possible, put back into the socket. If not, put in milk. Call a dentist immediately. The less time out of the socket, the better. Try to avoid the hospital. Emergency rooms do not have dentists on staff, and a tooth is not a high priority. This means you have to wait. Root fractures. A traumatic injury may result in a fracture of the root. The crown of the tooth may not be chipped, but the root can be broken. A 3D x-ray is essential. A traditional dental x-ray may not show a fracture. A splint may be necessary. Depending where the fracture is will determine the course of treatment. This type of injury, a root canal specialist, is a must. There are many different types of trauma. Sports, playground accidents, automobile accidents, assault, the patient below has a fracture not seen on a traditional dental x-ray, but seen on a 3D x-ray to the right. The diagnosing power of 3D. 
our practice has the experience and the best technology. Send us an email. If you have a question, we are happy to answer it and give an opinion. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.